This is a picture of the rectus abdominis muscles, which you have to imagine are two vertical strap muscles running down, and these are fibrous bands that run across the muscle for extra strength. The muscle attaches at the top to the rib wall and at the bottom to the pubic bone and to the iliac crest, which is the bones of the pelvis, and it joins in a strong fibrous band with the intrinsics. There are two sets of triggers here. The first occurs quite high up and very low down, just on the side, and these actually refer to the back. So this you would perceive in your back just there, and it, you perceive it as a band running across your spine there's no focal tenderness there when you examine, and that's where the trigger is. Totally unexpected. And this refers here. So you get a band of pain running across your lower back, and it's just at the join of the lower back and the pelvis. And again, if you have absolutely no tenderness there, and you're very puzzled by it, then look and you'll see the trigger at the lowest portion of the rectus abdominis muscle. There's another trigger which occurs just here, which is higher up. And this trigger refers pain completely locally. So you have pain just here. And this trigger is actually turned on in women who have severe pain with their periods. It's very interesting, you know, again, these are these reflexes. So if you have significant pain with your periods, which in the medical name of that is dysmenorrhea, these triggers get turned on. When your period's finished, the trigger quietens down, but it moves into the latent phase and then gets turned on again. If, you know, this is time-honored way of treating pain in your periods is to put a nice hot pack on your tummy or a hot water bottle and that eases the pain. One of the big reasons that it eases the pain is that you are actually warming up the reflex trigger points.